Have you ever seen a wooden roller coaster where the track shakes and sways as the cart passes along? If you haven't, you might have just not been looking because this occurs on almost all wooden roller coasters. But why does this happen? And does it mean that it isn't secure or safe? The answer is actually the opposite. Welcome back to World of Immersion. Today we are going to be doing a slightly different video from normal. We're going to be explaining and trying to cover a bit about what a wooden roller coaster actually is. Wooden coasters are some of our favorite types of coasters, and like all areas of the roller coaster world, there is plenty of fascinating information surrounding them. So today we'll do a brief summary of the history of wooden coasters and what a wooden roller coaster actually is. We'll also try to answer that initial question and many more that people may have. But before we get started, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss another video. With that being said, let's get right into the video. Although they only make up around 3% of the world's roller coasters, with only 186 of them existing, wooden coasters seem to be an extremely popular form of coaster. Oftentimes when people think of roller coasters, they think of wooden coasters first, before steel. Why is that? Well, let's take a look at the history. The first ever roller coaster was constructed all the way back in 1817, over 200 years ago in Paris. It was called the Aerial Walk in English, and surprise surprise, it was built out of wood. One of the main reasons most people think of wooden coasters is probably because they were the first roller coasters ever built. It wouldn't be until 1959 that the first steel coaster will be built. Tons and tons of wooden coasters will be built before 1959. For example, Giant Dipper, or Giant Dipper. Or Giant Dipper, or Giant Dipper, or Giant Dipper. Geez, people were really not creative with the names. But these are only a few of the coasters that were built before the first steel coaster. There are probably hundreds that existed. Now, unfortunately, due to how long ago these coasters were built, many of them are not in operation anymore. However, there are plenty that still exist and that you can ride out in the world. In general, it seems that wooden coasters became so popularized because of their history and age. This is also where most people get a classic feel when they see a wooden roller coaster, when in reality there are plenty of modern and newer wooden coasters that exist. But then you might be wondering, why would there be more steel coasters in the world if wooden coasters have been around for longer? To answer that question, let's get into what a wooden coaster actually is. First off, no surprises here, wooden coasters are roller coasters made out of wood. Duh. However, it's a bit more complex than just building a wood structure, placing a cart on it, and hoping for the best. Wooden coasters could be separated into two parts, the support structure and the track. Now, disclaimer, keep in mind this is a super simplified analysis, and I literally have no degree or knowledge in the engineering behind wooden coasters, I'm just providing some basic info based on research that I've done and what I've seen. Now obviously, wood per square foot is less strong than steel per square foot, so wooden coasters use a special design for their support structures. I don't want to get too in depth with this because it's a pretty complex topic, but if you want a great description and explanation of the engineering and the forces behind this, El Toro Ryan's videos on El Toro tend to go really in depth in that area, and I would highly recommend it. Essentially, these support structures use a lattice design that uses diagonal wood support beams and cross ties. This is where you get that awesome, super intricate look of wooden coasters from. But going back to our question from the intro, wooden coasters actually sway and shake a lot when the cart is going through the layout. At first, it may seem like this is dangerous, but in reality, if it does not shake, the coaster will actually most likely fail and fall apart. The saying that some coaster lovers use is, if it doesn't shake, it'll break, and this is very true. The coaster needs some sort of movement to be able to endure all of the force and energy putting onto the track. An analogy I once heard was, imagine jumping and landing, and then not bending your knees. You would completely destroy your kneecaps and probably break them too. This applies to the carts on the track of wooden coasters. On the topic of the track, the track of wooden coasters, which is mostly made out of wood, we'll come back to that in a second, is essentially a bunch of layered pieces of wood stacked on top of each other with two upside down L-shaped pieces of wood on the sides. Again, this is probably all wrong terminology, but I'm just explaining based on how it looks. Then the cart rides along this track and magically stays on. Well, not really, but before we get to how wooden coaster carts actually stay on the track, let's quickly look at steel coasters. Tubular steel coasters use a metal track with two cylinders on the side that the cart's wheels ride on. 
On the actual cart, there are wheels on the top, outside, and bottom to ensure it doesn't fly off. This allows the cart to do quick turns, inversions, huge drops, and tons of other cool stuff. Wooden roller coasters are similar, but not quite the same. The two pieces of wood on the side act similarly to the two cylinders on the steel coaster track. Like I said, each piece of wood is designed in an almost upside down L shape. The cart then has wheels on the top and bottom that ride on top and below the L shaped wood. However, differently from the steel coasters, wooden coaster cart's side wheels are placed on the inside instead of outside. Now going back to the mostly wood part, a fun little fact about wooden coasters is they are actually rarely fully built out of wood. There are actually three different thin layers of steel that rest along the top, side, and bottom of the track where the wheels travel. This allows the coaster to be much smoother as well as ensure that it will last longer. Because in general, steel lasts much longer than wood. Which brings us to our question from before. Why are there so little wooden roller coasters in the world compared to steel? There are a few different answers to this question. The first is that steel coasters just simply last for longer. With this, wooden coasters are much more difficult to refurbish and replace broken parts. This is due to the fact that steel coaster parts are designed off-site in a separate factory, and then they are shipped to the part to be put together like building blocks or pieces. Wooden coasters are built from the ground up, not using parts or pieces, except for something called prefabricated wooden coasters, which build parts off-site, we'll come back to that in a second. This part of wooden coasters makes it super hard to retrack or refurbish without spending a lot of money. Another reason there are less wooden coasters than steel has to do more with the general public demand. Steel coasters are typically faster, taller, longer, and more intense. To many, the wooden coaster is almost something of the past and steals what's new and in. Circling back to the prefabricated roller coasters that I mentioned earlier, these are, like I said, wooden coasters that have their track pieces built before construction and then shipped to the park. These are actually really rare and only four of them exist in the world. El Toro is one of them. These coasters are built by a manufacturer named Intamin. And something you may or may not know is that the majority of roller coasters that you ride in the world are made by the same 20 or so manufacturers. These manufacturers have signature track designs and coaster models that make it really easy to recognize what manufacturer a roller coaster was built by. Wood coasters apply to this as well, and there are specific manufacturers that specialize in wooden roller coasters. Philadelphia Toboggan Company was one of the big first wooden coaster manufacturers. It was established in 1904 and was responsible for the majority of the classic wooden roller coasters that you see in the world. Surprisingly, PTC is still functioning and running business today, however they rarely build coasters anymore and mostly offer parts of coasters like carts and brakes for wooden coasters. Another famous manufacturer of wooden coasters that unfortunately went bankrupt only around a decade after its founding is Custom Coasters International, or CCI. This manufacturer managed to construct over 30 coasters before going bankrupt, which is extremely impressive. However, bankruptcy was not the end of CCI. Some members and designers decided to start a new company. This company is called the Gravity Group, and they have proven to be revolutionary. They are currently the only wooden manufacturer to successfully build an inversion on a roller coaster. Sort of. More on that later. And they have a record of building really intense and wild coasters, which is really impressive for wooden coasters. Now, one of the most famous manufacturers is Great Coasters International. Founded in 1994, GCI has built some of the best wooden roller coasters in the world, such as Ghost Rider, sort of, Gold Striker, Mystic Timbers, and so many more. Now, another manufacturer that has become extremely popular for wooden coasters is Rocky Mountain Construction, or RMC. RMC wooden coasters, however, are slightly different. They use the typical design for the track, but instead of having a small thin line of metal where the wheels rest, RMC uses an entire topper sheet of metal to allow the cart to do crazy inversions and twists. Going back to the inversions on wooden coasters, these are the only other coasters that are able to achieve this. However, it's really impressive what the Gravity Group is able to do, considering they do not use a steel topper track. RMC also makes hybrid coasters with entire steel tracks and wood structures, but that is a topic for an entire other video. But anyways, that is going to do it for today's video. I hope to have covered some of the basics of wooden coasters and that you've now gained a better understanding of the history and how they work. I really hope you enjoyed this video. A ton of effort went into this, so please like and subscribe. The support is amazing. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching World of Immersion, and we will catch you in the next one.